Both this week and last week, an assortment of medical devices lined the tables of the lecture hall. Though this equipment may look complicated or dangerous, it's essential for ensuring the health of students and faculty at Millard West during the COVID-19 pandemic, especially with the rising number of COVID cases in the Millard district since the start of school. Test Nebraska visited Millard West on Friday, January 29th and Tuesday, February 2nd to administer free COVID-19 tests during the morning. The 80 students and teachers who received tests first signed up online or when they walked into the lecture hall, each needing to fill out this, a consent form detailing past COVID-19 exposures and contact information for the results of a test. Unlike Test Nebraska's site at Oakview Mall, the three nurses present gave PCR mid-terminate tests instead of nasal pharyngeal tests. So we're not doing a nasal pharyngeal for this public school system. We're actually doing a mid-terminate which is not as far back. We didn't want to do a nasal pharyngeal because it's, it's a little bit easier for us to, do, to administer and it's a more comfortable for faculty and students. As a part of its effort to stop the spread of the virus across Nebraska schools, the State Department of Education and County Health Departments partnered with Test Nebraska to tour as many public schools in the state as possible, dividing Nebraska into six different regions for nurse teams to visit. The Douglas County Health Department had reached out as any schools are any schools interested in this free service that we could provide and we said definitely um, because if there's any family that has any uh, concern over symptoms or anything like that they can come in and get a test and we can make our school safer. Some students and teachers are also feeling a sense of responsibility to contribute to the healthiness of their community which led to their decision to receive tests during either day. Uh, I like to do my part to make sure, you know, we're stopping the virus, flattening the curve. If I have COVID, I want to know so that I'm not infecting other people. Even if you don't know if you've been exposed or not, you could still be infecting other people. And I think it's just part of your civil duty to come in and make sure you're protecting other people's safety. Before recipients left the lecture hall after their test was completed, the nurses explained to them what to expect from their tests, positive or negative, when they will receive the test, and what to do if the test does turn out positive. If it's a student, the parents will notify the school that their student is positive, and if it's a faculty, they will notify the school that they've tested positive. That way the school takes additional measures. Though the new United Kingdom strand of the virus poses new challenges for testing and vaccine distribution, efforts like these have contributed to the falling COVID cases in Nebraska since early December. It remains yet to be determined how many of the tested students and faculty were positive, but Millard West is taking steps to ensure any positive cases do not spread. For the MWHS Wildcat News, this has been Edison Geiler and Caden Roth.